Guys, I'm freaking out right now. Possible PS5 trade in the pocket. This may be the biggest PS5 trade I've ever executed. We're talking 50 plus Nintendo 64 games, some huge Super Nintendo hitters, and lots more brothers, I'll tell you what. This trade's gonna either make me one happy human being or lie somewhere in the deep end of a ravine. Let's go! show you the uh yeah what i can do is we can just make a deal and then i'll just go ahead and give you everything we'll come up with a, a price yeah yeah and then you just go ahead and cash at me okay yeah you want to do 200 for the rest of the stuff we can do it Thanks again. I am flying over the moon right now. Guys, a quick peek at what we just scored. This oh box right gosh. here is packed to the brim of goodies. Very solid Super Nintendo games, Nintendo 64 games up the wazoo and Game Boy. I think we got all the Pokemon Game Boy games right here. Guys, this box is 10 foot by 10 foot, if I wow. may say. Possibly one of the best trades I've ever executed. Definitely one of the best PS5s. Guys, stay tuned, the breakdown's coming out. I'm scouring the interwebs and bop, a hot post pops up like a jalapeno pop. And lucky oh. me, she lives right down the street. Oh, 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 oh. school yeah okay thank you again yeah. 80 bucks down the drain or 80 bucks gone insane so she had this listing posted up for a moving sale and she had some games listed the ps2 bundle alone was 30 bucks she had a ps3 bundle for 30 bucks and then a mini 3ds bundle she was asking 24 i said i'll take it all it's actually really funny because she ended up living around two blocks away so she messaged me her address i got in my car took off i was there in two minutes she said when are you heading over i was knocking which in most scenarios is actually pretty sick but in this case it was a little creepy starting off with this bundle right here six games all in mint condition for real guys if you saw the last video i got a bunch of ps2 games and they were cronked so definitely redeem myself with these discs they are looking mintier than a freshly minted quad nicktoons attack of the toy bots grand theft auto vice city tony hawk's proving ground i definitely remember playing through this game and you can't go wrong with some solid guitar hero games we got guitar hero 3 legends of rock guitar hero encore rocks the 80s and guitar hero 5 this one's actually a pretty big pusher if i remember correctly we got the playstation 2 system right here strapped up with two beautiful memory cards and an added on hdd that's always a bonus got the controller and we also got a guitar hero Excellent. controller yes i was actually really excited to grab this i am definitely going to play a little tonight but playstation 3 slim looks in good condition i bet you it works too i know a ps3 system these days goes for around 80 to 100 bucks so that's solid we got the original pink controller these are actually kind of hard to find especially when they're oem like this so that's big and an inarguably really good game skyrim i believe i played skyrim for the first time on the ps3 if you haven't played this game yet it's definitely a must play so far 80 bucks on this lot we're sitting in the profit but what really pushes us over the edge is this 3ds right here beautiful purple nintendo 3ds guys this baby is mint now unfortunately she didn't have the charger but i popped this baby open and it looks beautiful luckily i had an extra charger at home charged it up and she works like new two games nothing to write home about we got ben 10 mario and sonic at the olympic winter Games. alone with an added charger this lot right here should definitely make us back our money and push us into the profit but all this for 80 bucks score right down the street is just bonkers but the deals are out there and they're waiting for us so let's make like ice cream and scoop bread and butter brothers two xbox controllers with the free xbox one x for a hundred bucks porch pickup let's hope the porch pirates don't get to it first porch pickup Xbox One X secured, and we're out here in the woods because it's a beautiful day. Pop the box open, and luckily we didn't get scammed this time Good around. Job. For 100 bucks, we got two Xbox One controllers, got a Turtle Beach Recon headset, and finally the Xbox One X system itself. These babies right here push over 200 bucks, so we're sitting a good hundy over profit. Really solid to see. So Facebook Marketplace hey, is good.
Who's there? Guy in a hole. What, what do you think? Come here. Jump in here. Uh, no. <laughs> you missing out, man. We got some big games in here. Yeah? Yeah. Did you hit that like button by chance? No. Oh. Okay. Still, jump in here, man. I'm not a spider, okay? Fine. So earlier in this video, a trade went down. PlayStation 5 trade that just might go down as one of the best trades in history. An insurmountable level of Xbox hey, games and oh 64 God. games to reach the heavens. And a Super Nintendo lot that's got me shaking in my boots. Keep in mind, I paid 400 bucks for that PS5 in a previous video, where I also picked up a solid $100 Xbox One S lot with a bunch of games. Now I knew this baby would trade and I knew it would trade good. Kicking off with the Xbox bundle right here, a solid an Xbox original console with the DVD player attachment. I rocked one of these when I was a youth, so that's a solid flashback. My man had a ton of games and solid ones at that. Some of the more notable titles, Panzer Dragoon Orta, Godzilla Save the Earth, this one is solid, Phantom Crash, Castlevania Curse of Darkness, guys always be on the lookout for Castlevania games, The Suffering Ties That Bind, and The Suffering Original Game for the Xbox. Here's a game I would've blew past quickly, AVP. Huh? Now what is in here? Alien vs Predator Extinction for the Xbox. Xbox disc only, but still pushes cash. Ninja Gate in Black, Evil Dead Regeneration, I think this one pushes 30 bucks. Spawn Armageddon, and finally The Punisher. Guys, we're already sitting at a fat stack of games right here, and adding in all these other titles right here, plus the Xbox console itself. At around 30 bucks a pop for this first stack of bangers right here, we're looking at 300 bucks. Comment down below, is there anything in these two stacks right here of Xbox games that are hitters that my dumb head missed? Moving on over to these random PlayStation 1 games that I didn't even know he had. He never sent me any photos. But some solid titles nevertheless in here. Final Fantasy 7. Gotta have that one. Super random. I pull out this game right here. Disc only. Breath of Fire 4. Nice. It's a Capcom game. You know this one pushes some big cash. This game alone sits around $100. So that is a solid freebie to see in this collection grab. Also tossed in at last moment. You gotta catch them all. We got all the Pokemon Game Boy games. Including Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Blue. Blue, red with a bit of a fade, Pokemon Silver version, Pokemon Gold version, and lastly we got the Pokemon Crystal version in this lot. Success. Digging through the bin I also came across this random Pokemon Pearl for the DS. This on top of these Pokemon games is just crazy. Now at this point the lot's pretty much paid for itself. Everything else you will see is pretty much gravy. Even after I tossed them another 200 bucks we still got a lot of profit to go. 68 super sick and 64 solid. Considering that these three stacks of solid titles are the fillers of the lot, really goes to show you how much bangers are in this baby. Honorable mentions in these stacks, Quest 64, Shadow Man, Star Fox, Mortal Kombat 4, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and Castlevania, both Bomberman 64 and Bomberman Hero, Bio Freaks, Tony Ox Pro Skater, and guys, check this one out right here. One of the things that got me most excited about this lot right here was I saw this game right here on top. Now, if y'all know, Clay Fighter pushes a little bit of cash. And when I say a little bit of cash, I mean 1,000 punkers. So I did get my hopes up high for this one. I knew that the lot was definitely worth it no matter what. And I pulled out this baby right here. Not Sculptor's Cut, unfortunately. It's 63 and a third. So not quite what I wanted to see. But guys, I'm still super happy. Check it out. Just too many games to list off right here. These games are all pushing 30, 40 bucks in these three rows. Mario Golf, Mario Kart, Mario Party, Super Mario 64, Super Smash Bros, F-Zero X, WWF No Mercy, Mischief Makers, both the Rampages, Donkey Kong 64, we got two copies of Killer Instinct Gold, Silicon Valley, Pokemon Stadium is even in this lot. Followed up by Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards and 007 Golden Eyes. I mean, we're talking 60 plus 64 games, all said and done, probably push a thousand bucks, but these next four games will have you shoot. Hydro Thunder, guys, I did not know this game was as valuable as it is. I thought this was a filler title at most. Can't have a solid N64 lot without Zelda Majora's Mask. This is the hollow cover. Looks like it's been sliced up guy might not have enjoyed the time constraints in the game mystical ninja star and goman this one's a big hitter second time i found this baby and lastly conquer's bad fur day for the nintendo 64 not only is it made by rareware it's a rare game i honestly thought this game was sitting around 50 bucks but it has been climbing in price skyrocketing out the charts sitting over 100 bucks so that is really solid to see but not as solid as this Drop that great star. nintendo 64 jungle popping and you know what else 
is popping with that expansion pack. So now this baby right here is ready to play some Zelda Majora's Mask and maybe a little bit of Donkey Kong 64. You know this is a solid lot when you got them all. Now I get it. Y'all know I'm happy and I'm going a bit crazy. But before we move on to the Super Nintendo games, I got something I want to show you and it goes by the name of Giveaway Time. Stop. For real, this lot has provided me with some exceedingly solid value and I am very grateful for it. So I wanna give back a little something. And as odd as it may seem being in the video game scene for so long, I have actually never held a graded game before I got this one right here. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Wii U, fully sealed, encased in a beautiful case right here. Rated at an 8.5. Guys, this is a beautiful piece to display in your collection. If you are a Zelda fan, especially. I really hope I when we get that. What was that? How do I win it? Well, I mean, you have a chance to win it. Same with these guys right here. Now, well, what do I gotta do? Just hold your horses. We're getting to that now. In order to encase this bad boy in your personal collection, I wanna know one thing. I wanna know the VIP, the most valuable piece you scooped up, traded, got at the thrift store, found at a garage sale, got in a dumpster, whatever. However you got it, comment down below. Let us all hear it. This is your chance to brag. What do you got? And again, guys, I really do appreciate your support. Keep doing what you do, and I'll keep doing what I do. Let's continue this live. A Super Nintendo haul for the ages and a couple NES games including Double Dragon, Battletoads, a big game right there. And what do you got when you mix Game Boy games and a Super Nintendo? You got Super Game Boy. This one pushes around 20 bucks. I oh, really saw a lot of games right here alone. Donkey Kong Country, both of them. Street Fighter 2, Mortal Kombat, Jurassic Park, Star Fox, Super Mario All-Stars, Battle Cars, and Battle Clash. We got the Super Nintendo console right here strapped up with Zelda Link to the Past. Number one game on the Super Nintendo for me. Guys, let me know if you agree or disagree. These games right here are when it gets a little more serious. Separation anxiety for the Super Nintendo. Not only do we acquire the original Breath of Fire, we got Breath of Fire 2. Breath of Fire 2 is worth a little bit more cash, maybe because we got that Capcom stamp on it compared to the Square Soft on the first one. Nevertheless, this is a $100 duo right here. And lastly, the Super Nintendo 3 Pete, the Capcom Triple Deluxe, the Mega Man Triple Double. Mega Man X, Mega Man X2, and Mega Man X3. A little bit of writing on the front looks like this belonged to a video pop store, which is actually kind of sick. You know this baby lived through the past, and it's most likely authentic. Got the stamp on the back. And considering the rest of the lot right here, I believe we got some genuine gems. Really excited to hear about some of you guys' best hits. Thank you for lending me your eardrums on this beautiful Saturday, and cheers to the hunt.